Funny thing is, right? Really funny about this is the sad, pathetic attempt that they are trying to do, that they are using to get information, is ridiculous. It's it's not needed or required and it's like so in setback a because it's happening and b because i fell for it it's fine it's done what's done is done we can't fix that so We've fixed other things, and now we're just gonna roll with it, right? Because what is the point in being mad? There's no point. Something I do want to make sure. There we go. But I wanted to make sure because I was meant to do this an hour ago, but I got so dragged into tons of other things that I got so mad. I got so angry at the fact that I had actually fallen for like this thing. sat here ranting. What we're actually going to do is we're actually going to play some music, isn't it? Because the best part is, right, no matter what they get, they can't really get any meaningful information out of it. They get like an area, your ISP provider, It's like, people, like, they try and scare people. Yeah, they can deed us, yeah, but that's just, that's just sad. Oh, and it's pathetic. Okay, bear with me.
Yeah, in the meantime, we're gonna finish off this, um... This first cast, because... At least when the first cast done, maybe start the second one. Depends on how it's going. Really annoyed. You can't tell. You've just got to tell yourself what's going on, right? Bye. Some people just need to, like, grow up. That's, that's all it is. And now that I'm educated about it, you tell other people about it. You said, don't do it, you follow it to pages. Because it can recommend some serious problems. Well, not, they're not serious, but it can drop you in some issues. Like, I'm probably going to have more location later. But what they're going to leak. <laughs> but what are they going to leak? It, people already know where I'm from because look at the times, right? I'm from the UK. I'll tell you that much. Look out. Fine. I wouldn't don't fret about it. They're not gonna get that much. So. Not as if I'm gonna I'm gonna have like people appearing at my doorway. Being like, hey. I'm gonna like get you. you. Can't do that to me anyway, but it's not as if something like that would happen. Let me reset my uh, positioning. Because There we go. Cool. So now that I have had that mega rant over, let's actually play this game. <laughs> so, we're playing from the latest scene. So I'm not reading these invoices because this killed me last time. <laughs> ah, a judicial assistant and a woman no less. The rules state that females are not permitted in this court of law order to testify. Yes, I fully understand. I ask only five minutes of time. I have some vital evidence that I must hand over to the defense. You're too late, little girl. This trial has already been concluded. Five minutes. I will not allow a moment more. But, that's all I'm saying. I am most grateful. That's some sexist stuff right there. Um, who exactly are you? Sorry, there's no time. Let's simply accept this for now. What is it? A report about something written in English? It's just Hill Brett's research. English woman? After the trial resumed earlier, I hurried back to the university. I went to Dr. Wilson's laboratory in the medical facility and borrowed his paper. Oh yes, that's right. Miss Brett was studying with the professor, wasn't she? So does this research, whatever it is, have something to do with the case? I'm afraid, I don't know. I haven't been able to listen to the proceedings of the trial myself. Oh, no, no, of course not. <laughs> Special characteristics of three. And it's effects on human subject. What's that? I've never heard of that word before. Hands up. The prosecution demands the immediate removal of this female trespasser from the courtroom. 
There's too little time for me to read it in detail, but I've summarised my on a note just inside the cover. Beeping. Oh, you're beeping. Oh, <laughs> Please cast your eye over it. This is wonderful. Thank you. Good luck, Ben. And goodbye. You have had long enough counsel. We cannot contain our English guest any longer. I ask the prosecution and defence now one last time. Does Keith Assad have any further evidence presented to court? I presume not, but... The prosecution has made its case convincingly enough. Nothing more to add, Your Excellency. We're out of options here. This really is our last chance. I know. Your Excellency, the defense does have new evidence. That look, that unyielding stare of a true Japanese warrior. Well, Miss Brett. Yes, Your Excellency. You wouldn't mind, perhaps you could grace with your presence a little bit longer. It's a delightful invitation, but I'm afraid. It's not very long until tea time. Forgive me, Miss Brett. It seems I wasn't clear. I realise it was for his question, however. I must ask you to treat it as an order. Ooh. I've said it many times before, but the Japanese language makes no sense. My apologies, dear lady. So, counsel. What is this new evidence that demands the court's attention? Poison made from a bark of certain trees in the jungles of South America. The hunters of the region have used it since ancient times to incapacitate their prey. Instant paralysis of the entire body and subsequent death, even in my minute doses? Roots of entry, the above mentioned effects occur when the poison entered the body through a wound that's such as inflicted by a blow part. Ooh, right, so that's why she burnt him. No. Oh, sh no, it's poison, isn't it? So, obviously, he's had his tooth removed, and then he's put the poison in, in the cup, and it's gone through the heat removal. Mm. Due to its ability to render human blood paralytic, it's believed that the toxin could have application as an anesthesia. However, the solution for the repository effect caused the result of full body paralysis must be found first or patients would die of suffocation. Yes! Yes. Mr. Zailbrat, we understand that you were studying under Dr. Wilson at my University doing research. Research by sheer coincidence perhaps into a deadly poison. What? Poison? Where are you going with this council? A toxin known as Kray. Kray? Your Excellency? Given the slightest amount of this deadly poison entering the body will lead to instant death. Attention! What? A complete and utter nonsense. Kray, you say? I've never even heard of it. You won't have done. What do you mean? I mean that you wouldn't have heard of Kray before for one very simple reason. It doesn't exist in our country. It doesn't exist. Correct. Which means, no matter what test the police can do for the toxins, they'll never identify it. Why? Because there is no test available here that can identify the presence of this highly deadly poison. 
truly exist. According to this report offered by the visiting research student from England, America has long been used by the tribes people of South America for poison to waste their arrows with. It seems a reasonably well known from the main doctors and scientists. To waste their arrows? The report states that it is produced from an extract of a tree that grows deep in the jungle and the nuts that we offer, and it was first brought back to Europe at the turn of the century by explorers. It claims that animals shot by arrows laced with this poison suffers instant death. Isn't that about some oat, Miss Brad? Objection! Humbery. These aspirations are utterly triumphant. To start with, if the victim had been administered, through this so-called deadly poison. They would have been squirming and ragging and the other diners would surely have noticed. Hmm, that's true. What do you say to that, Inspector? Obviously I would have noticed a disturbance like that. Hmm. I don't remember anything like that either. I didn't notice the first being any kind of pain. What is this, however? It's the other way around. What do you mean, other way around? Apologies. The victim didn't show any visible signs of distress. Is evidence that Ray was used. The moment this toxin enters the person's system, it causes instant paralysis. I'm juggling two things at once. In other words, afflicted victims lose all strength and are completely unable to move. There we go, job sorted. were in total agony. There would be no visible signs of pain at all. How terrible. Obviously, if a man loses all strength in his muscles, he claps to the floor. But, with a chair under him for support, as Dr. Wilson did, the effects would go largely unnoticed. I don't know, Kazuma. That's just paralysis. I thought the poison caused instant death. explanation is extremely unpleasant. The poison causes immediate paralysis and as I said, leaving the victim unable to move. But after a short time, the paralysis is so severe, it causes muscles that control respire, respire, respiration to fail. You know what respiration is. The actual cause of death is suffocation. And all the while, the victim is conscious and aware. Unable to move. That's hideous. 
the observer, it was what follows that the victim was slipping peacefully into an endless sleep. And for the victim himself, his final moments would be a living hell. That's the true nature of this deadly poison. Told ya. I told you she poisoned them. And you're suggesting that this bottle council actually contains this terrifying poison? Attention! This is all very convenient, isn't it? This unknown poison for which there is no means of testing, but a happy tale for the defense. If I may. You think you're so clever. Shut up! Ooh. Shut up! It is you who must be taught. Of course. Hey, lady. So, how you Japanese behave, is it? What? You steal another's honest hard work and then announce the results as if you discovered them. I'm appalled. What a loathsome act. Well, Miss Brown, the feeling's mutual. Whatever do you mean? Capitalising on the unfortunate circumstances of another innocent man to frame for the heinous crime. That really is all this map. Don't you agree? Attention! Enough of this. I, for one, refuse to accept it. The idea of some poison that doesn't exi even exist in the Great Empire of Japan is breaking the rules. Nothing. That's so funny. Oh, excuse me. Your Excellency. Yes, Miss Brett. Oh! Hi, Lyra. Um, you're not showing up on my thing. I can't. <laughs> I can't. I, I didn't see your messages. I'm sorry I missed you. I didn't, I didn't see you. <laughs> oh. I'm very close. Just gotta get my view counter. <laughs> That's all. Very close though. We'll get it. I just wanted to make sure my microphone wasn't me. Have you closed the settings? Oh no, that's an upside. I just noticed that. <laughs> Which is a good thing. Unfortunately, I got... Um, got hit by that IP thing that's going around. How oh, very foolish of me. Oh well, I'm on the bridge now. Why not? Who's going to drink it? What IP thing? Basically there's an IP thing going around where if you visit certain pages on Twitch they have an extension on their page which will basically log your IP and it will log it to your username on Twitch and you plan to basically expose people or DDoS them or something. It's very silly. But hey ho, I've changed my IP so they can't do anything to me. <laughs> that's what happens when you know what to do on the internet. Oh well. How have you been anyway? You doing alright? Don't get too big for your boots, you insignificant little island boys. Sorry? To an English woman such as myself, the whole affair is a rational comedy. 
Okay, so it's okay, the book becomes following me and then like click me clear and then like nothing. Exactly. That's the kind of accounts. The majority of them, the known ones, have gone. Out of like a list of like 50 that they tell you to ban, there's only like three that are still active. But then, obviously the latest follower I had, were like an actual person, so obviously it's getting worse. Which is the only reason I clicked on it. <laughs> oh well. What's done is done. These little police games and these foolish courtroom antics. Laughable, really. But I'm getting bored of it all now. It's time for the games. End. Cheers. What are you doing? It'll be a different model. No sparkle left at all. Appropriate for this shabby affair. I'm going to have a now. I've been having fun with that. I've also got a today. I have a dart also. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we nearly beat that. We nearly beat that, Souls. <laughs> that boss has spent three hours on. You'll see what happens. Whatever is the matter, you all look quite stunned. Oh, no poison. I'm not, e I'm not even gonna try, you know, try and pronounce that word anymore. I, I don't know what it is. The bottle was clean. Is that what you're saying? Ha 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 ha. You look quite incredulous, little girl. Of course, that is the secret. Thank you for presenting the findings of my research so concisely here in this grand venue. That's kind. Poison the glass, you morons. Thank you, waiter. Well then, what oh, excellent say? Ah, oh, um, yes, Miss Brett. I should like to be excused now, please. I think you've given me more than enough time. I've given more than enough of my time. For the fervence of friendship between our countries. Oh yes, uh, dear lady. I'm most gratified for all the assistance you have been given. This doesn't make sense. I have to have been poisoned in that bottle. How did she swallow a whole glass and live to tell the tale? I don't understand it. Well, I suppose if nothing else, this far eastern, this far eastern charade will make for interesting conversation at the next party I attend in London. Uh, there has to be poison in that bottle. Why well, she would have killed off by now? It's in the glass. The bottle contains no poison. There is no poison in that bottle. Why? Isn't it obvious? Oh, if there was poison in there, she'd be dead. Sometimes, an unadulterated naivety really astounds me. But sometimes, it's in need of a good old staining. Until it starts that uniform in the way of the world. I don't know what this clue is supposed to represent. That was a. Guy just ending. What? Stop, no, what? 
doesn't make any sense. Alright, what's the contain poison then? The cover did put the poison into Dr. Wilson's carbonate and water. The defense rules. Changing its refuses to change its position. You're serious. Attention! Cool. Are you blind? There's no possible way the bottle could contain poison. I mean, we just saw. Miss Brett drinking. Oh. Miss Brett drinking the water from it. That's right. It's rather complicated your argument, I think. No, I've just realised what's going on. I said it earlier and I totally forgot about it. He's got no wound. How oh, exactly? I need to think through all the things that don't quite work here. One by one. Very well. The defense truly intends to assert this claim. And I must ask you to support your assertion with evidence. What explains how the witness was able to consume this whole bottle? With water in scared? Yes! Yes! The answer to this real is right here in Miss Brett's own research. Attention! That is not a valid explanation. After all, we don't speak English. That report is utter gibberish. This impudent young scoundrel is trying to ridicule the court, Your Excellency. I'm not trying to ridicule anyone, honest. I'm just reading Suzatosan's notes. I concur. This report is too sensitive to be considered in its entirety by the court. You will direct us to the pertinent section council. Which section of this report reveals the alleged answer to this riddle? What's it listed under? Route of entry. Special characteristics. We've been hearing a lot about this poison. That needs to go on to silent. Mm. And it's left me curious about something. Oh, Council? Well, it sounds as though ingestion, in, indigestious hunters have been using this poison for years and years. They lace the heads of their arrows that they shoot whatever prey they're hunting. So we've been led to believe, yes. And the point of hunting is to catch prey to eat. Get to the point, please. But if they were to use the laced arrows, doesn't that mean there would be traces of the poison left in the prey the hunters were going to eat? Yes, good point. So surely the hunters wouldn't want to eat their prey, would they? Because then they'd be eating poison. Goodness gracious, Council. No. That would be madness! But I actually found the answer to that conundrum. In this research paper here, on the special characteristics it says this. The poison starts to work after entering the body through a wound. Through a wound, you said. I see, that makes sense. Yes. I might think this particular detail seemed a little strange to me though. But it all makes sense when you interpret what's written here like this. When the poison enters the body through the open wound, it has terrifying poisonous effects. However, when it enters the body via the mouth, it has no poisonous effects whatsoever. That's a bit weird. I want to know if this poison exists now. What? Miss Brett, you authored this research. You knew the poison's special characteristics 
And you, and you could make a spectacle of drinking that water without any danger to yourself. Nice. You meddling little. That's a real swan. Well, right in this game. It turns out. You're an even better lawyer than I thought you'd be. Really? A lawyer? Attention! All this poison talk is fascinating, I'm sure. But I fail to see how it could possibly... <laughs> so, the ill bred the heat puppy is a new toy to play with. Hmm, some facts you read in a book. But I'm afraid knowledge doesn't suit you, boy. It only makes you look silly. What do you try to say? Your screw boyish logic has a little flaw. School boyish? Law. As even your brain has managed to deduce, poison is safe to ingest. It seems likely that this effect is neutralized by the acidic nature of the gastric sucks. Oh, yeah, well, of course. What are they? <laughs> so, if this little poison is completely harmless when drunk, the professor wouldn't have died when he swallowed it, would he? Of course he would. Get a tooth removed. That's right! <coughs> Goodness gracious! That's basic science. Science that even a schoolboy should be able to understand, no? Order, order, and accord order. Logic holds. The lady and the professor drank the same poison. It wouldn't be affected in the same way. Uh, are you trying to suggest? This poison is completely irrelevant to the case in trial. That's right. Not even a little cockroach like you could understand something as simple as that. What is this welling up inside me? I've never felt like this before. It's just sort of conviction to break down all the discrepancies. It's so intense. Almost rage-like. And more than anything else, it's an animalistic desire to take down my prey. Ooh. Objection! Ooh, we got no yes. I don't think so, Mr. Zelly Brett. How dare you use that tone with me? You know very well <coughs> that there is no fatal flaw here. You know exactly why. Even though both of you and the victim swallowed the same poison, you are alive, but Dr. Wilson is dead. Counsel, I'm sure I don't need to remind you. You must provide compelling evidence. As we now know that this poison is completely harmless when ingested, why would Dr. Wilson alone have been killed by him? Because he had a tooth pulled. Take that! Take that! As Miss Brett has so readily pointed out, she drank the same water as the professor. However, there is a fundamental and fatal difference between the two diamonds. Difference. Toxic effects of poison only felt when the poison enters through an open wound. So, for a healthy person with no injuries, it is completely harmless. But, what if there was a wound inside a mouth of a person drinking poison water? Hmm, yes, like the wound you might have. If you had just been to the dentist and had a tooth extracted, for example. 
Miss Brad, you've acknowledged many times in your testimony already that you were well aware of Dr. Wilson's dental claim in that day. Well, that's it. You use that noise to orchestrate this. He keeps Evil laughing and it's making me think maybe she's not a good person. <laughs> I don't like to repeat myself, but honestly, I can't resist. These childish courtroom games and your half-baked arguments are so real. What do you mean? Don't worry, little schoolboy. You'll find out soon enough. See, when you leave vital evidence lying around, you never know what might happen to it. You could just slip. She's actually going to destroy evidence in front of the courtroom. The giant actual swan may also indicate that. <laughs> It doesn't look like an actual swan. It's only an actual swan when she gets angry. <laughs> hmm. That's stupid. What she's done is stupid. Oh dear. What careless of me. You could have had the actual swan drink it. And then there'd be none left. I should have just drank it. Oh well. I'm afraid some crucial evidence may have just been tragically destroyed. Just smash the bottle and then the Supreme Court. What are you waiting for? I took as much of that water from the broken bottle as possible. You're wasting your time. This delightful cup and the way here was a gift from the British Empire. I assure you, it will soak up the water beautifully. You have neither the technology nor the presence of mind to recover it. Well, she's just signified a guilt pretty much. How oh, could you? You won't get away with this. You can thump the bench and shout as much as you like, little boy. But I'm afraid we'll never know now, will we? If there really was poison in the bottle, or not. And let us not forget, we still have some very compelling evidence left in Isn't that right, counsel? For the prosecution. You're referring to this photographic print, I presume, dear lady. Oh, yeah. Who shot him then? That's right, and we're really looking at this photograph. This is clear as day, isn't it? He was sitting with his back to me. Of course, the only person who could have shot him was from the front. Objection! No, you killed the victim up there. Using the poison. And then in order to frame. Or in this game, never heard of crime. He waited until he picked the people you arranged for him to find on the floor. Before you shot the person dead in the chest with your own hidden gun. Then in the confusion that followed, all you had to do was turn the dead professor in his chair around. You had every opportunity to commit this crime. I don't think that's an easy thing to do, even if there was a commotion. What a wonderful imagination you have, young man. <clears throat> a hidden gun, you say? I shot the professor's dead body, did I? Well, I'm terribly sorry. I treated with a shred evidence. Exactly. 
I mean, nothing to spot the wild claims. Cross Christian stance remains unchanged. The victim, Dr. John H. Wilson, was killed by a gunshot in the chest. Delivered in cold blood by the accused. He had her, but now he's really gonna get away with it. No. Destroyed the evidence we've never seen. Yes, we've come this far, but now I am the only one who can finish it. Oh, come on, that's cliched. What do you mean? We've lost the vital piece of evidence, it's true. If there are any clues or clues left for us now, they must be in your head. You told me before that your powers of observation were one thing that you could really depend on. But I didn't manage to notice this woman was a foreigner with a swan on her head. <laughs> exactly, I didn't think she was a I don't think it was a real swan. Now think back again now. Try to remember every last detail about the scene that day. Everything you saw, everything you felt, every colour, every smell. What I saw and what I felt. Every colour. Now, am I right? What? Somewhere in my vibrant memory. The same scene in my head. Could there be another clue to expose the identity of Dr. Wilson's killer? Well, there's got to be a clue, hasn't there? Action puzzle. If you ever have something, looking back over everything I saw, I think I might have uncovered another clue. You always have something up your sleeve. You're lying this time. Come on, man. Let's wipe the smug smile off the English woman's face with some evidence. Yes, let's do that. Alright, I can't wait. It's been niggling me for a while, but something feels amiss in my memories about there. Whatever it could be is the key to arriving at the truth of this. shows who Dr. Wilson's real killer must have been. It, it's not exactly... Take that! Take that! Where's the blood? Inspector Hosanaga, answer me this. Yes, what is it? Um... Oh, miles away. I was thinking about that ball being smashed. <clears throat> As you've said a number of times now, try for perfection in your investigation, don't you? Absolutely. I wonder, therefore, if perhaps you took anything else from the scene of the crime. Like, for instance, the place of steak that you took from the victim's table that day. Attention! Wait a minute. Shut up! <laughs> There's never been a game. None of them have ever done this where everyone's interjecting each other midway through sentences. It's so weird to me. Where are you going with this little boy? It's just a memory that's been troubling me. Memory. I saw the scene shown in this photograph print with my own eyes that day. I saw, and I saw on the wooden base of that plate the state was served on. It was a spattering of blood. What? <laughs> oh really? And what of it? Obviously that must have happened when you shot the professor. 
No, that can't be the case. Take a good look at this photograph and the relative position of everything there. The place of state is almost directly behind the victim. If I'm supposed to have shot Dr. Wilson from the chest from the front, there's no way the blood of the victim could end up directly behind him. <coughs> yes. But to admit it onto the plate, it implies the plate was between the victim and the shooter. Which means the shooter must have been sitting opposite the professor as you were. Brazil, right. I beg your pardon? Attention! This is beyond ridiculous. Fabricated nonsense. <laughs> that could have been ketchup though. <laughs> it could have. However. A very sloppy eater, if that was the case. Sorry, I'm just trying to change my Wi-Fi because I keep dropping the chat. Also, the thing didn't go through. I recall the bullet never went through, so... This course seriously says something that the accusers apparently just remembered seeing. Hold it! This... This could be the moment my entire career in the police force has been leading to. The spectre, I mean... Yes, I took a peek. Any interest in preserving evidence for the scene of the crime? I took it all. Meat and everything. And I don't care if they call me a crime scene thief because of it. You did what? <laughs> I took the stare that you had been eating, Miss Brett. I took the stare that the sergeant had been eating. And I did it all in the name of justice. Then we can find out for sure whether or not there is a blood stain on Miss Brett's plate. We must examine it now. There is a fatal problem. I don't know if anyone else thought about this or whether Capcom thought about it. Surely I can't be the only person that's noticed. The court wishes to examine the plate from the victim's table. Immediately. Yes, sir. Um, the blood was on the left hand side of that plate, correct? Sorry for the delay. He was shot in the right side. If he was shot while he was at the table, shouldn't the wound be on the left his left in order for the blood to be on the left side of the plate? I mean, if he's at a restaurant they would probably clean the place of the people use them, I would imagine. Yeah, but this guy just took it all. <laughs> that's that's the difference. This guy just said, you know what? I'm having it all. Hot class burglar. Here's what you ordered. The stick. What about the blood? Is the blood on it? Of course there isn't. The blood man. Sure the court. <laughs> the judge has gone totally airwire. Of course. Examine the plate at your leisure. No blood. Oh, they just keep throwing like hair wire things. But I know I saw it. I'm sure of it. Who 
was right there on the till behind the professor. There was mud on the side of the bed. It could be ketchup. What an unbecoming expression, little boy. Silent swan. You see, this is why I always say you can't trust what the Japanese tell you. Ooh. Well, that's somewhat racist. You couldn't agree more. In this case, it's disgrace the Emperor. You're Japanese, man. I believe we may have finally reached a conclusion in this trial. Let's hope so. Let's pretend this attempt at courtroom proceedings is painful to watch. I do promise my best to forget about it all when it's over. It seems like every time we get a lead, they just decide. Here's another spanner in the works. This sorry looking state reveals the facts all too clearly. The sorry looking accused wishes to examine it again and be my guest. It's gonna be like backwards, isn't it? Not like that. Upside down. It was the part I saw. All I saw is film time imagination. This is it now. I've lost. The new skin. Not over yet. It's not over until the final gavel. Next, stop believing in yourself. Keep looking forward no matter what. We're taking a print screen of this. I like this. Snipping tool. Hey! Ah, I've lost it. It's fine. I'll recover it from the blood. Leaving myself? Really? Hmm. Maybe I should at least examine the evidence for myself. As the evidence requested by the defense has not been shown to be a problematic in any way, I presume any further examination of evidence to trial will be unnecessary. It's fine. Like I said, I can recover it from the bar. I like the words of inspiration, though. Does the defense have any objection? That blood stain was going to clinch the trial for me. Can this play of state reveal any other clues? It's gonna have to, isn't it? Otherwise I'm just gonna be... Your Excellency, please wait. This play of beef is hiding another clue. Another clue will reveal the shocking truth. Attention! The cow had the poison in him. The only thing that's shocking here is your unhealthy fascination with beef steak. <laughs> your Excellency, I think I've made myself quite clear, haven't I? I will not be able to turn a blind eye to any more unnecessary procrastination in this trial. I'm sorry, Miss Brett, but we must ensure a thorough examination of the evidence. I will not give a ruling until I am completely satisfied that all reasonable doubt has been dispelled. I see. As a newly friend, I have my country. That's still your position, is it? Thank you, Your Excellency. <coughs> Counsel for the Defence, you will now clearly show what form you are alluring. Where precisely on this plate of beefsteak is the new clue to be found? like this, you must do so knowing there is a penalty for mistake. What's the answer? 
really one thing to do. Turn the stick over and over and it's like find something. I'm still in like shock and awe about the idea that it's on the wrong side. I'm not sure what it's asking me to do. Mistake itself? Oh yeah, but it's like this the stain isn't right. Got it! Oh we're gonna we are gonna get sentenced, apparently. There's nothing on the bottom. So there's only two things that you, that it, that it can be. says it's like here on this grab the handle already and this thing is well the thing is says you have to turn it back over and over find it i know there's no direct interaction i'm just looking at when the mag like the little crosshairs like flicker and flash Thing is, it's like it only it only does it on like two bits. Turn the stick over and over until I find something. Because right, this flashes. The actual like stain on the plate doesn't, the stake does, but nothing else. In fact, can I use? No, it is easier to just use a controller. But nothing else on this thing flashes. It's like this side. Like, doesn't... I'm not gonna lose much progress anywhere, even if I fail. Got it. No. All right. Let's just let's just accept it. And then... We'll take the guilty and then we'll revert back to the Oslo service time. Accordingly, we have announced my guilty verdict.
Stanley Q, send a telegraph to Canadian against the Negrobo and Leonardo. Blah 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 blah. We will not be granted the right to appeal. That is all. We start from this scene. From the start of this current scene? Yeah, go on. We're on the same part, so. What does that say on this piece? There is, there is no like, other than your dignity, there's no real like problem with losing all your lives. <laughs> and now we can actually figure out and not worry. Now that we know that's how it works. Hmm. Got it. All right. That's the It is. It's um. Well, there is only one other thing easy that we could do, but it's not exactly a game if we do that. <laughs> Turn this state over and over until I find something that helps me out of this place. I think there'd be a stain on the bottom or something. Is it a cat? <clears throat> Is it a cat? <laughs> it's a cow, obviously. Most likely because restaurants is a regular restaurant special disc is beef stick. Definitely a cat. You can like confuse it with a cat. Like you could you could argue that it's like a mirrored duck or a swan or something. Not a cat. Oh no. Maybe it could as well, yeah. Where are you just getting an apology? It seems like a lot of different restaurants are around unique to all that. This is symbol of the car bell, is it? Alright, that doesn't tell me what. Got it! We've got it! Good gracious, that's. A coven? What on earth? Oh, I don't want that. 
This brat. This is in fact the beef steak that you ordered the restaurant on the date in question. This. Tell me. Why is there an old coin seemingly hidden underneath the meat? Shut up! This one's angry. That's how we know we've made progress. More evidence that the main character is not qualified to be here. <laughs> Quite true. But that's a staple of this series. Rookie gets lucky. <laughs> what a ridiculous question. How should I know? I've never seen that thing before in my life. I don't know what this is, but I want no part of it. Attention! I fail to see how this is relevant. A coin under the meat. It's not the right play. That could simply have been a careless mistake by the chef in the morning. Objection! Don't be absurd. I'm supposed to believe that this happened by accident in the kitchen. A rare high cone appears to be hidden underneath a piece of steak. If this turns out to be irrelevant to the kids, I'll rip up my ticket to go to Great Britain right now. You're right. It can't be coincidence. Your Excellency. Yes, Captain. A rare three coven just appears to be hidden underneath a piece of stick. If this turns out to be irrelevant to the case, I'll give up my lawyer job right now. Attention! By all means, don't let us stop you. No one invited you anyway. Shut up! For once I agree. Perhaps, little boy, you should realise that it is you who is irrelevant. Even though I'm the one on trial here. <laughs> Point is, it's essential that we ask the owner of this coin if he can explain what it's doing under the stick. The owner? Yes, it's obvious. There's only one person it could belong to. The owner of the. It's it. Right, but it's, it's this guy. Take that! Take that! Obviously, it can only be the antique dealer, the owner of Rasute, Hiro, or Kudasun. As in, is the cucumber something? Obviously, these ridiculous Japanese names are quite unfathomable. Ah, uh, yes. The old man who testified long. The military sergeant correct? So it's the military sergeant stick, basically. And the inspector has picked up the wrong one, I assume. I remember him saying that it was he was up to something with his golden coin when it happened. At exactly that moment the gun was fired. The gunshot interested me not. I was Far too busy on the floor. What are you doing? Hunting for treasure. He was hunting for his coin. It was under a stick, so he was never gonna find it. Do you mean to tell me? Attention! Why would Cor Corcuda Sans Coven be sandwiched between the victim's deep stake and its place? Yes! No sense. Yes! Which is why I'm asking you to bring Corcuda back in to the witness stand so we can ask him. Officer, bring both witnesses that testified earlier back in here. Without a moment's delay. I can't believe we've come back round to that pair again. I have a hunch, a strong hunch. If we chase down the real significance of this coin, we'll find it's a key element to this case. What is all this about? Why have I been called up again? 
Don't you realize that it's dinner time for my little baby Ida? When my son's belly's empty, he's fiercer than a pack of wolves. Exploited by a policeman like miserable dogs forced to bear false witness. When the cast iron from this courtroom, myself, I became a ruined man, twice a worthless with an antique. Nothing more have I to say. The sun has set on this resute shop owner's existence. Be that as it may, Corkirsen, something has come to light that requires your clarification. As far as your Rasute memories go, stop interrupting. That's yes, that's it. That's the one, the very one, the very exact one that is. Rep treasure that my rusty bones managed to misplace that fateful day it can't be hmm as i thought young man enlightened as the cradle fool pack me out of my misery where where was my treasure where was it dropped oh uh i'm not sure where it was dropped we found your coin sandwiched between a beef steak and its plate soaking in seasoned meat juices. Sandwich? Okay. Seriously? Clearly, it couldn't have fallen there by accident. Which means... Somebody must have hidden it there on purpose. Somebody concealed my treasure between a slab of meat and a metal plate. Who would dare do such a thing? Such an unconsiderable thing. Excuse me. Could I say something? Yes, of course. <clears throat> Proceed, Inspector Hosanaga. I mentioned this earlier on in the trial, but I was working undercover in the restaurant in order to investigate another case. Ah oh yes, that's right. The secret undercover operation. The Khan Bell is a high-class Western, Western cuisine restaurant. It attacks wealthy diners and many foreigners. Recently, there have been a run of serious execute thefts targeting the restaurant's rich clientele. A number of such incidents have been reported to the police bureau. Hmm. Wicked crimes indeed. We wanted to nip the case in the bud quickly, especially with so many foreigners being affected. But that's why you were sent in on the cover, is it? Yes. We took on the job of way to his restaurant in order to push out the criminal. It seems likely this Coban incident is the work of the same thief. Hmm. But unbeknownst to us, there was a master thief at the work of the restaurant on a regular basis. The place was already the scene of several crimes, it seems. I don't know about the master thief part, but the identity of the person who stole and hid the Korkuda Sands. Hit Korkuda Sans Coven is all too clear. We know. We know who it is. And with my four points, I have four attempts to guess. I think it's him. He stole it, hit it between the stick. And he's brought the wrong one in. It's either him or her. Just, mm, uh, she 
she's still too busy. Take that! Take that! Obviously, it can only be you. Sergeant Isaiah knows it. Die, you! You, you monster! Monster! I stole that coven, did I? I am the master thief at the carnival, am I? You're seriously accusing me of these crimes, cadet? But it wasn't me! It was Ida! Ida is the mastermind behind all of this! You! That is so bad. I think it's him. He's blaming his child. He's blaming his child. Ah. You would push the blame of your crimes onto your own son, an innocent looking baby. The huge is the monster. I didn't know that. What a terrible father. You. A bit over the top, is it not? It's warrior. Go really weird, really fast. Standard procedure. Preparing to step down. He knows he's been caught out. <clears throat> Any of you know the extraordinary low wages of the Nippon Imperial Army pays those it expects to keep our country safe. I understand that the temporary increase in taxation owing to the recently ended conflicts remain in place. I have heard it's hard for lower ranking soldiers to make a living, yes. All I wanted is to put a hot meal on the table for my son. That's why you were stealing things at a restaurant. The place is heaving with money. Every three days I go there and I do reconnaissance for a target. I'd en and I'd enjoy chomping my way for a good steak at the same time. Looks like he doesn't bother with a knife and fork. Heaving. Which is worrying, believe me. And your target that there was the old man, Miss Coven? Yes, sir. We've solved this case quicker than we actually solved the murder. He was an easy mark. I slipped the coin into my pocket without any trouble at all. Hmm, a vertical phantom thief you are. Persona! I was all set to leave the stake. I was halfway through devouring when it happened. Yes, when the professor was shot. I knew that if the police conducted a search and found the coin in my pocket, I'd be finished. I know too. So I hid the incriminating evidence as fast as I could on the double. I slipped under the stake, hoping that I'd be able to rendezvous with it again at a later date. Everyone is in silence. This is ridiculous. Perhaps you would carry on with such a rattling in your own time. Well, Miss Brett. Of course they still. I'm just shut up so many times. I'm 
quite sure there is no need to detain you any longer. Oh. Gentlemen, please be excused, Your Excellency. Hmm, indeed. After the cabin was perfected by this baby saddled sergeant, it would clearly appear to be an unrelated to Dr. Wilson's murder. What's this? Adding coin with a lump of meat? The sheer nonsense, the idea of stones with nonsense, is it? Well, no, it's clear that we've got the wrong plate then, isn't it? And as you're picking up your stick and biting, is it really where you use an open fork? It's pure nonsense, it's pure madness. Very well. Now that all questions concerning this witness testimony have been answered, in your favour just a page for detaining her. Miss Brett, you are free to leave. You're not a murderer, go. Good luck, everyone. And good day. What's the matter with you? No time for daydreaming. It's just something about Miss Brett's parting words that I got me thinking. I can't quite work out exactly what, but something she said jarred on me. I feel like there was a contradiction in there somewhere. Something that didn't quite add up. If that's the case, don't stand there thinking. Make your voice heard. You can think later. But if you don't call it out now, it'll be too late. The trial will be over. Hold it! Wait, Miss Pratt. Is it now? Fred, it is almost time. This is what I'd like to ask you. I'd like to explain the contradiction in your parting words from like just a few months ago. What are you talking about? What contradiction? Objection! What new student nonsense is this? Well, what parting words are you talking about, Rainbow Skin? Adding a coin under a lump of meat. The sheer nonsense of such an idea astounds me. And also picking up your stick and biting into it without using a knife and fork? This is beyond nonsense. Pure madness. I'm right. She said that exposes an undeniable contradiction. I'm going to get to see evidence council. If these first words truly are a contradiction, what are the evidence to prove it? state that you can see on the victim's table. There's a number of four color victim variations different place now? Quite possible. The state that Miss Brett had been eating before the press was pulled the door. More accurately, Your Excellency. The state that was on the victim's table just before the press was killed. 
by your the spitting hairs. Not true. Something doesn't add up about the stick strike as you very unnatural. Oh, she, right, so she has switched them. He has switched them. Unnatural. What on earth do you mean? It's extremely obvious. I'm talking about the shape where the edge, where the meat has been eaten. I see you've noticed it too, Miss Brett. Not as quite exactly cancelled. In just a few moments, Miss Brett claimed no Englishman could even contemplate picking up a stick and biting into it without using a knife and a fork. That's a lie? Of course she did. She's a refined English gentlewoman herself. You take a good look at that stick, in particular the edge where it could be eaten. As you can see, there's a clearly defined barbaric teeth marks in there. You done goofed. You done goofed. So, if the witness, as she claims, couldn't contemplate eating anything without using a knife and fork, there shouldn't be teeth marks in the steak at all. Ooh. Objection! What is your actual point? Perhaps the delightful Miss Brett was grabbing a stick. Shut up! <laughs> Come on, you're splitting hairs now. <laughs> Whatever you say, dear lady. As I said, I really must be leaving. After the meeting, the Minister of Justice cannot possibly wait any longer. Well, of course, um, I'll be over in a blink of an eye. Mr. Chairman, I'm uh, about to put this in the thing. Shut up! <laughs> Irritating little spectacle with samurai relic. I love this back and forth between these two. What's the matter, Miss Brett? Have we ruffled your feathers? Really? The witness knows what this means. She's realised the catastrophic implications of those teeth marks and the state we have for her. Do you know where you're going with this? Just switch the plates. That's why the coin's in there. No, at last, it's all come together. We had allegedly been eaten with cutlery. With blood stain. Importantly, the evidence that proves once and for all who shot Dr. Wilson that day. Except these teeth marks in the stake are unnatural the natural as you put it, Council. But what is it that you're suggesting that tells us? Everything your excellency. said. Everything? I believe that these barbaric teeth marks in the stake here amount to conclusive evidence in this case. What does it prove beyond any doubt who shot Dr. Wilson? Shut up! Absolutely not! Conclusive evidence. How many times have I heard that today? You want to know what the meaning of the phrase? Incredible. Japanese. Empty. Words. How can you be so sure? Oh, it's quite simple. If you really had such conclusive evidence, you would have presented it to the court long ago. Actually, the evidence I'm talking about hasn't been brought to the court yet. It hasn't been. What? But just because it hasn't been shown yet, doesn't mean the evidence does not exist. Objection! This is absurd. This trial has run several hours already, and you and you say there's evidence yet to be brought forward. There can't be. I don't believe you have it. Objection! I don't. But there is someone who does have it. Someone in this very corner. And if that person is going to submit this evidence, I'm referring to it. It will solve every remaining mystery about this case.
He possesses the conclusive evidence. Take that! The answer is obvious. Suspect the Hosanaga. What? I have it? Yes. Aurora Borealis. Yes. You. You think I have been withholding conclusive evidence? <coughs> <coughs> no, 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 no. I'm not saying that. Everyone's attention has been focused on the state with the teeth marks. Yes. Now, earlier this afternoon, Sergeant Rosa told the court the following. I enjoy chomping my way for a good stay. As well as admitting a stealing code for the son's coin, he told us he slipped it under the stair. You watched it, cadet. I'm a superior o oh, you watch it, cadet. I'm a superior officer. Project Noza, could you please confirm something for me? What's this thing you put the coin under? In fact, your own state? I pointed this out 20 minutes ago. Affirmative, of course. I might be a soldier in the Imperial Nippon Army, but still. I'm not brave enough to ask a foreign gentle lady if she mind me manhandling her meat to hide something in it. In other words, the stake in the, the textbook submitted his evidence earlier? Is in fact Sergeant Nose Neil? Attention! But that makes no sense. That was taken from the victim's table. Objection! Yet the gentlewoman doesn't take bites out of her stick. Nor did she have any opportunity to steal the coin. Of course I didn't steal it. It was suggested that they would be a front to the British Empire. Well then, how do you explain this paradox? Exactly. Surely you're not going to suggest. The sergeant switched two stakes over. <laughs> you did switch the flares. <laughs> well, after it happened, the um, <laughs> when I saw the civilian have been murdered right in front of my eyes like that, I panicked. I said I immediately lifted the stake and hit the coin underneath it. But then, when the police announced that he was looking for a policeman, I thought I had it. If he decided to investigate my slab of meat, that'd be it. I'd be getting my marching orders. When the cadet here was arrested and taken off to the kitchen, I seized my chance. With military precision and timing, I switched my stare with the one on the foreign lady's tail. There we go. You can't have. I never saw you do such a thing. It was called Operation Lightning Bolt. There was no time for strategic planning. It was do or die, I tell you. So yes, I did what had to be done. They saw. However, fear not, Prosecutor. What now? I swear on the brass buttons on my uniform. That is all I did, sir. All you did. That's plenty, Sergeant. Yes! So, the Sergeant Noah just switched the plates over. It means he took Miss Brett's stick, and the plate was on it back to his own table. Spectre. Yes? Earlier in this trial, you told the court this. You said that you had not only taken Miss Brett's stay half the incident, but also the sergeant's. That to preserve evidence, you had taken both. <laughs> oh, we've got her. That's correct. And please present it to the court now. Let 
it was actually on the victim's table at the precise moment he was shot. Shut up! What can that possibly tell us now? I mean, it's a cold start of tough meat. It can't have the slightest bearing on the case. Objection! Ooh. No, you're not wriggling out of your way this time, you lady. I beg your pardon. Surely you're not that forgetful. Surely you remember the reason why the state can promises to prove such a problem for you, no? Hmm. You're the ones that decided it was a problem, not me. The reason the defense asked to see that plate was to confirm something independent and independent. Hey, you. The reason the defense asked to see that there was confirmed something the defendant remembers seeing. Thinks he remembers. I'm quite sure of what I saw in this prayer. On the side of the prayer, the table was directly behind Dr. Wilson. There was a clear spattering of petrol from the gunshot wound to the victim's chest. I believe the defendant's memory served him well. And now we have the evidence to prove that the plate you were eating from this prep. Let us not prolong this any further, Inspector. You will show the evidence to the court. Present the beef steak and the plate that was originally on the victim's table at the time of the incident. Case closed. Sorry for keeping you. Come on, it's, it's right there, it's blatant. Here is the other stake in its plate. Please, feel free to examine it. Blood stain. It's clearly visible. Yes! So this makes everything clear. The blood you can see on the side of the plate shows at the moment the victim was shot. He was facing the table with his back to me. In other words, it's impossible for Narahola to have shot the victim. Can't be. Is there ever an explanation as to why he's been caught from blood running the entire time? I think it's just his character gimmick. <laughs> Well, trust me, we'll, we'll probably experience worse the, more, the further in we go. I think he's just got like a medical problem. It's just his character. In fact, there's only one person who could possibly have shot the tools with in front. I'm sure everyone knows by now who that person is. Let the swan fly away, woman. That's right, Miss Giselle Brett. It's you. That would have looked so good on 3DS. And now she's gonna have a mental breakdown. Lovely. Outdone by a Japanese? Me? By a Japanese schoolboy? No, no, no. See, it's going insane. <laughs> oh, look, chicks. Okay. I take this game seriously sometimes. <laughs> now we have a spattering of chickens all over the courtroom. And a woman has just ascended to heaven. <laughs> Please excuse my little air first. I briefly lost my composure. No, the goose lost its composure. Most unbecoming behaviour of an English gentlewoman. Forgive me. Well, Miss Brett, 
I think this time the top of actually happened right there. The truth, this time. Have your excellency. He's giving up. It was I who took the professor's life. Using the poison. As you summarized, I chose that particular day for one very important reason. Yes, I had a dental appointment for the extraction of one of his teeth in the morning. You planned to kill the professor knowing that no trace of poison would be found in his water. Because the poison is unheard of here in Japan. Yes. Of course, I never intended to remain at the restaurant for as long as I did. I only needed to see the professor take one tiny sip out of his water, and it would have all been over. I would place a steak I had ordered in front of him to make it appear as if he'd been dining alone, and leave immediately. However, before any of that happened, there was an unexpected visitor at the professor's table. Talking about us. That would be me, I suppose. Yes, you. Who else? Such a trifling matter. But the fact that you decided to come over to greet the professor meant that I had lost my chance to slip away unnoticed. In due course, the professor took a sip of his water and was paralysed. I was sure he was sitting in his chair, such that he wouldn't fall. There was no going back at that point. So I concocted a plan, on the spur of the moment. A plan to pin Dr. Uh, oh, um... A plan to pin Dr. Wilson's murder on this innocent man. I have to know that the professor always carried a gun. I decided to use that fact to my advantage. I had the bottle of poison in my handbag and my own pistol concealed under my skirt. Under your skirt. So I was right. There were two guns. Yes. And then I finished my coffee and got up to leave. That was when I noticed the professor's gun, which you had presumably placed on the floor. The place where you were sure I would have noticed it. And everything went according to plan. He noticed the gun, and as I intended. And then, just as you bent down to pick it up, Shot him. That's when you shot the professor with your own gun. Even though at that point he was already dead. Naturally. But then shot closed the commotion, at which point the waiter appeared. Obviously, I assume never heard of Sam was the culprit and apprehended him. I took that and took him to the pantry that adjoins the kitchen and locked him inside. That's when I took the opportunity to turn the professor in his chair around. Because of course, you needed to make sure it looked like the defendant had shot Dr. Wilson from where he had picked the gun up. My apologies, I am going to have to run really quickly. I will be 30 seconds.
Okay. Okay, we're back. I had to do that, otherwise that could have been a problem. I also just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Nah, we're good. Okie doke. So there you have it. That is the entirety of my misdemeanor. Your Excellency. Keep, I keep mixing the voices up. Yes? I wonder... Mind I speak with you in private later? I shall call on you. You should be taken away. You are straight or willing to take me away. Good day, thank you everyone. I hope you can forgive me. No, I heard us on. Absolutely not. <laughs> y you were going to get me locked away. <laughs> it would seem. This triumph is plainly run its course. I presume the prosecution is in agreement. This this can't be. Takashi Takashiya Takashiya does not lose. Not to the likes of this rookie student. You better start getting used to tough opposition. Are you just getting narrowed? Yes. This insult to my family name will never be forgotten. You become constantly the age council. But the old have to stand aside to make way for the new. This is the way of the world. May you never forget that. Pass, and still, your clan will never measure up to Nar the Narahodo clan. This trial in the Supreme Court of Japan will, I believe, go down in history as the start of a new chapter in our country's judicial system. Despite being someone of the key, you, Ryunus, Ryunus, Narahodo, presented an excellent case. Thank you, Your Excellency. The use of evidence and deduction to unravel the truth is a modern mythology. After all, it's only been a few short decades since our country opened its doors to the wider world, but the Western ideas of science are rapidly gaining acceptance here. I feel sure that science will soon bring new methods of investigation, new procedures of justice. The future of law awaits, but what will it look like? Do not begin to imagine. That is for the young to pursue. Kazuma Asaka. Yes. After this trial, you are set to embark on your journey of discovery to the illustrious British Empire. Learn all you can, absorb everything of a wide world that you are able to. And do not forget to fulfill the mission imposed upon you. I understand your excellent sense. What was that about? Why do you look so grave all of a sudden? Um, never mind. As for you, Leonus, Leonus Narahoda. Oh, yes. In you, I said, 
my final verdict. I hereby find the defendant, Reynusuke Hirohoto, not guilty. We get confetti. And the guy's still in like, all of it, he's had his hair cut. <laughs> this court is now adjourned. We did it! After dying once. gonna happen in which we get sent to Great Britain as well. Otherwise this game isn't going to be able to play forward. I can't believe it. I can't believe what's happened. I made it. I defend myself and made it through that horrendous trial. Rainer's game. You finally pulled it off. Congratulations! Well, I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you, Kazuma. <laughs> no, no. It was a pleasure to watch you at work. So, you owe me an extra large sukiyaki from the place on Yuma University Street. Don't forget. Good afternoon. All your hard work has certainly paid off. Congratulations, both of you, for proving that I heard a sound instance. Ah, a trusty judicial system assistant. You worked hard for that result too, you know. Oh no, I didn't do anything. Thank you so much. We haven't had that research report of Miss Brett. I don't know how things would have turned out. The kind word should really be for my father. I was simply doing as he asked. It was his idea for me to the university and investigate. Father? Oh yes, of course. Speaking of Mkhitaryan, I believe congratulations are in order. We have one. Narahoda, you did an excellent job. Thank you, Professor. Oh no. It's I who should be thanking you. After all, your efforts exposed the true criminal that took the life of my good friend. Oh yes, I mentioned that before. It was you who actually invited Dr. Wilson to the university, wasn't it? Yes, that's right. Professor Mukataba studied overseas himself. He went to study forensic science, uh, forensic medicine in Great Britain. Presumably, that's when you met Dr. Wilson. Exactly. In those days, we worked together in the same hospital. Oh, you worked together? I've never heard you mention that before. Well, it was a long time ago now. Besides, it's your turn. Oh, sorry. Ascoy. Is it Ascoy? I think it's Ascoy. Great Britain is a magnificent country. It leads the world. Not anymore. In science, medicine, engineering, and culture. And of course, in law. Option learn, my boy. See what's happening in the world's largest melting pot. I will. I'll learn all that I can. I swear on, on this. The spirit of the asteroid plan. You're not taking that sword to Great Britain, are you? Of course I am. The Japanese man's katana is his sword. His blade shows me where I need to go. And cuts down anything that's in my way. Yes, I've definitely seen how sharp it is already with my own eyes. That reminds me, what happened to the woman? 
It is our friend. After all, she's guilty of murder. Ah, yes, her. It's not easy to tell you this, but... What do you mean? Surely she's going to face trial herself now, right? She's a true culprit, after all. She will be leaving Japan in the very near future. For Shanghai. What? Shanghai? Does that make sense? I was just thinking this. I thought they were going to bring that up about him having a hard time at the airport. <laughs> Zero Brett will not appear in court again in this country. I'm certain of that. What? But why not? It's a matter of cons consular jurisdiction. Ah, it's the inspector. It was a hard fought battle in the courtroom today. Very impressive to watch. I must but what's all this about cons consular jurisdiction? We cannot try this particular foreigner for her crimes here in Japan. What? Why can't we try her? But then who? Who's going to bring us to justice? The British Consular Court will hear her case somewhere far away, but our voices can't be heard. But why a Consular Court? Professor, I simply don't understand. I thought consul Consular Courts were a thing of the past now, and that we've signed the Friendship Treaty. Yes, in normal circumstances you're right. Then, so long as this is not a serious incident of a highly political nature to our representative government, they can't invoke the consular court just like that. Oh, can't they? Yes, she's a student. It doesn't just tell your government they can secret agreements about her fate, does it? Exactly. Something strange is going on. And Miss Brett can't be held accountable for her actions here in Japan. I'm afraid that for the young student. Today's trial was nothing more than a game all along. There was never any danger of comeuppance for her. I don't believe it. But there was a danger for me but not her. The British government's foreign affairs ministry has demanded that we hand over custody of Miss Brett. That obviously taking this case of a foreign student for being murdered very seriously. But it's all going to change from now on. We can make it change. This is a time of great turmoil. This new era, heralded by the start of the 20th century. One day, I have no doubt. That woman will receive the judgment she deserves. Yes, change is coming. And we're the ones driving it. Well, I think that's enough seriousness for now. This evening calls for celebratory drinks. You're just going to drop it just like that? Exactly. But, Professor. You're right. This is no time for gloomy faces. We should be celebrating Rinosuke's not guilty verdict. Let's start having some fun. In that case, might I suggest that they can't bear? As the head waiter, I should be prepared to provide you with ample food and drink. You're a detective, also not a sound, aren't you? <coughs> Let's not worry about the details for now. Will you accompany us, Professor? Everyone's friends. Yay. Of course, Lee Carlos food is second to none. I shall go and attend to the paperwork for now how to send your leaves. Oh yes. Thank you. Oh, Giselle Brett won't be tried here. I suppose that means I'll never know. 
I'll never find out why she killed Dr. Wilson. Cosimo. Yes, Rena's okay. I just wanted to say thanks again. That's all. You really saved my skin today. I didn't do a thing. You were the one in there, weren't you? That defense was all your own work. Those skills make a difference, though. One day, I bet you'd be the best lawyer in the world. Hmm. I'm not so sure about that. To be honest, something kept occurring to me over and over again during that trial. But I'm not thinking that maybe you're the one destined to become a great lawyer. Not me. Come on, be serious. I helped you today. It was only right very start of the trial. Do you have a natural talent for it? For being a defense lawyer. Ooh, not me. All that tense verbal combat. I never want to go through with that again. I just did what you told me to do. That's all. Because I knew I could trust you. That's the point. Sorry? Right? What do you mean? That's the point. Just annoying this game. Do you know what the most crucial weapon is that any lawyer needs in order to win? Knowledge of the law? No. The ability to believe. Believe. Believe what? The defense lawyer has to fight for his clients. He has to believe in them at all times. But you believed in me, and I said I didn't do it. I'm human, just like you. I don't have some superhuman ability to know the truth. You have to make a choice about what to believe in and stick to it when you're defending someone. Sometimes in the courtroom, you can't really be backed into you can really be backed into a corner. Being able to remain faithful to what you choose, believe in even them. Oh, that's not something that anyone can do. It's just a special kind of person. Believing in your client. Just look at today's trial. I'm a student lawyer with precious little real experience, but you never stop believing in me. Oh, well, I You face seemingly hopeless situations time and again, but you never stop looking for the truth. And in the end, you found it. You made your own efforts. For your own efforts. And because you never stop believing in me. Thanks, Kazuma. There's something I want to ask you, actually, right in this game. Who's gonna ask us if we wanna go to Great Britain? Well, it's a favour, really. Something very important to me. It sounds serious. Why is you're still here, are you? Oh, Inspector. I've arranged some rich shows for us. Let's go. Thank you. We'll be right there. Let's pick up this conversation again later. We should be celebrating right now. Your first court victory. And, and your study tour to Great Britain, don't forget. When my very first trial came to an end, Kazuma, Professor Nigotaba, Yuzuto san, who acted as my assistant, Inspector Hasanaga, who didn't really play much of a part, but still. Because of the help and support of all these people, I managed to get through that trial. Can I change the stream title? Nope, that's what it should be. If it's. 
Yeah, that's what it, that's what it does. Surprisingly enough, that's what it should be. <laughs> that was something different as well. No, because it's weird. That's how I remember that's what it actually should be. <laughs> Hasn't had a map yet managed to ask me his favour. Little did I realise just how much it would change my life. End. I'm not going to the last place to intrigue it. Yeah. I can't even remember what I had as the first one. Oh, British courtroom vibes. Even though we were in a Japanese court. The Great Departure. The Adventure of the Unspeakable Bethel Band. this chapter in a corner of that small dark room Sholmes and I waited with bated breath in time there came from the ventilator a hiss and a soft almost growl like sound suddenly Sholmes sprang into action lashing furiously with his cane at a point in the darkness you see it Wilson he yelled his tense voice reverberating through the air I raised my dark lantern shutter, and the room slowly came into view. Sholmes was staring intently at one particular corner when he started whispering to me. The victim's most perplexing final words, the speckled band. I believe this is the terrible coil to which she referred, Wilson. In front of us was an enormous adder its fangs bared as it threatened to strike. It truly was the most terrible speckled band I had ever seen. On board the steamship Maria. So then, let us unravel this mystery and discover what events led to this curious murder. Pray, do excuse me. The cabin door was bolted from the inside when the man was killed. No marks to suggest the bolt was tampered with in any way. So, this would appear to be a locked room mystery. In his final moments, the victim scrawled a message on the floor. Hmm. Almost certainly with the ink from this upset bottle. A Russian word. <gasps> so the victim was a Russian man then. And the letters are well formed, suggesting he was compass mentis at the time. Hmm, this is a most extraordinary script. And evidently not penned by the same hand as this message. In fact, I deduce it was written by someone of a different nationality. This paper seal was placed just prior to the incident by the victim himself, I would venture. Well, what have we here? Uh, uh, who are you? And what do you think you're doing here? Da, da! No one must touch before maritime police come. We must wait! Shh. That won't be necessary. You see, in less than five seconds from now, I will reveal the killer to you. Uh. What? Don't be absurd! This is murder! I need cabin locked from inside! Ah yes, the locked room. But that mystery is paper thin. You, you don't mean the culprit is in there? <laughs> who, who are you? And where have you come from? I'm a great British consultant detective, the only one in the world. Herlock Sholmes. I presume... 
You must have heard of me. Sherlock Jones. <laughs> My hair is rubbing. What's going on? Something's not right. There's trouble in the air. Oh, move. Why am I in handcuffs? Hmm. You wake up now, hmm? We had to drag you out of the wardrobe. I do not believe how you could not wake up. You are a true cobbler. Of am I being put up for trial again? You. You found me then. Ah. Found you. I know you pay, criminal. How long have you been hiding in that tiny wardrobe, hmm? Sorry? When you have been found, it's time to admit your crimes. Unless you want to find out how cold the ocean is, hmm? No, no, I'll, 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 I'll tell you everything. There's only one thing I'd like to know from you. Isn't that how- Why did you do it? Why did you take his life? He's Suzato. Wait, what did you just say? Take his life? Hmm. Where? Where is he? Where's Kazuma? You pretend you do not know? For a wolf in a sheep's pelt. You are the killer. Do not try to make excuses. No, he's not dead, is he? No! I love the sound of this. I thought he was discovered not too long ago. Yeah, this is the very cabin. It was bolted shut from the inside. His... his body. Please. Do not try to tell us you were doing this terrible thing in your sleep. How's it was dead? But it can't be. These handcuffs? Surely you don't think I. I have to know. How did you take Kazuma Summer's life? Answer me, please. It's awful. It's atrocious. Be like Ori Blips and then. You know, like, you both were. It was just two short weeks ago. Are you sure about this? You won't get in trouble? Don't you find it fun being a stowaway? Besides, how else would you come to England with me to study? There's really something else when they brought your luggage in here earlier. Where the Russian crew and just toss your traveling case onto the floor. What was going to die? Yes, I still can't find. I still can't f quite believe that. I really didn't think you'd be able to fit inside my trunk. You must be. You must be even less of a man than you look. Hey, honestly, I thought I'd broken every bone in my body. about 50 days until we dock into Great Britain. If you confine yourself to my cabin here, I don't expect anyone will discover you. Hope not. I have a feeling those Russians wouldn't be very forgiving of a stowaway. They're a sturdy bunch? 
that's for sure. What I want to know is, why do we need to get a secret from the young lady? From our faithful judicial assistant, Nikitaba? I mean, from your close friend? More to the point? Really, we could confide in her, couldn't we? I don't believe she'd give me away. No. But if she knew what we'd done, that would make her guilty by association. It's best that only you and I know about this. I suppose so. Anyway, what time Stuart is supposed to come and clean the cabin? I know it's cramped, but you better get in there. I think. It won't be for long. And anyway, compared to hiding ins inside my traveling case, it will be a breeze. Yes, but what if the steward decides to open the wardrobe for some reason? Then I'll be in it. I'll be in for it. Not worrying. I'll tell you what. Why don't you write the word to keep out or something on this piece of paper? Then I can stick it up the wardrobe once you're inside. I don't know. That kind of lines up with the intro cinematic. I've only been at sea for about 15 days. How can this happen? Are you supposed to keep you going on with adventure to England together? We we'll leave you at your next port. Stay quiet until then. Don't make any more trouble for yourself. Murderer. I'm not a murderer. This is such a brilliant plan. <laughs> Yes, you could say it's foolproof, but look how that turned out. <laughs> you said before, you said you admit everything about your crimes. No, that's not right. I mean, yes, I did throw away on the ship, but... Murdering my best friend? No one else could have done it. Admit the truth. Suzuto, son. Tell me what happened. I need to know. Very well. There is something I would like to ask you, too. Those eyes. Those are to destroy me. This nightmare is getting worse by the minute. I suppose all I can do is try and find out what really happened here. He really has been killed, hasn't he? And these handcuffs? You think I did it? <sighs> Do you think I'm Cosmos killer? When they found him, the cabin was locked from the inside. What do you mean? There's no access to the cabin by the porthole window. And the bottom of the door can't be opened operated from the outside. In other words, for the crime, the culprit couldn't have escaped these four walls. <laughs> or to put it another way, the culprit could only have been somebody inside this cabin. Or do you have some other explanation? This is impossible. How did he die then? What exactly happened? I still going to deny the charge, even despite the circumstances. Please, Suzuto san, you have to tell me everything. The cause of death is still undetermined. They don't know how he died. Chip's doctor is examining the body, but of course, he has no post mortem analysis experience. I don't suppose we should learn more until an expert has been consulted at our next port of call. But presumably, that means there were not obvious external signs of injury then? That's true, yes. I don't know tell me exact actually what's actually happened here in this cabin. I don't 
don't understand it. Why would anyone want to kill Kazuma? Presumably that's something you know the answer to better than anyone. Please. Whatever you say, you were here in the cabin after all. Oh, yes I was, but... You would always wait for Don to do his training first thing in the morning. I was waiting outside his cabin, as I have every day so far on this voyage. This morning, he did not come. I could sense that he wouldn't. What do you mean? He was already dead when he was sent around the cabin door this morning? Wouldn't I knocked, but there was no reply. Then I started to become worried, so I had to find a member of the crew. The crewmen forced the cabin door open. And when we managed to get inside, there was Colonel Masama, collapsed on the floor. Hmm. From the white tape, there now shows exactly where it was found, I suppose. I had no idea anything had happened. I must have been asleep in the wardrobe somehow. Oh, it wasn't the case, but this is very hard to believe. This is all very hard to believe for me too. Trust me. Have I told you everything that I know? It's my turn to ask you a question. Okay? I should feel so heavy. It's still feeling like anything. Why are you even on board this ship now, Harrison? This is something before about being a stowaway, can you? Oh, yeah. I'm afraid that's true. It's two weeks since we left Japan now. And I've been shut in this cabin the entire time. I had no idea. But how could you have occupied Kevin Sam's camp for so long we had no sense? No 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 no. That would have been impossible, obviously. Kazuma invited me. He wanted us to go to England together. He actually asked you? But why? I'm afraid I don't actually know the reason myself. I don't understand. Kazuma, why do you want this? What's the real reason? I want to set his stream lamps to smuggle me into England with you. It's an idea that's been on my mind ever since the end of that incredible trial. I think I told you then, didn't I? That you are to become a lawyer yourself. Well, yeah, you did say that, but... I didn't think that you were serious. You have talent for it. I can assure you of that. But I never really thought about becoming a lawyer. Well, that's something you decide for yourself. I think it is the spearhead of cultural development, the center of the world in many ways. There cannot be any harm in seeing such an important place with your own eyes come back. Well, no, definitely not. But on a personal level, if you were to become a wife, then... Then what? Nothing. Get it. He was always saying the same thing, that he wanted to change the Japanese legal system. Perhaps he thought that he could do that with you. Maybe. Something's still bothering me now. The look in his eyes then it was darker than anything I've ever seen before. Awesome. I'm sorry that we kept it a secret from you. I'm just going away on this ship, I mean. If I know Kazuma Sama, I expect he was trying to protect me from becoming guilty by association. But 
Exactly right, yeah. Well, I think that's too hot. If you're not the culprit, then tell me. What happened last night here in this cabin? Well, the thing is... I don't really remember. Wasn't it for me something to eat just like you always did? Myself into that wardrobe over there, just like I always did. After that, I fell asleep. Uh, well, yeah. Go deeper the Eden Stone, because my soul was killed. Um, well, yes. I know it sounds unbelievable. Really, I do. But, if only I'd woken up, then perhaps we wouldn't be in this predicament. For some reason, my head's still throbbing like anything. Really? Um, something wrong? Um, no, it's... Please, forget it. This is a toss son. You have to believe me. I didn't do it. I... I really don't want to doubt you, but... I believe there's no one else who could possibly have done it. I don't understand. Why? Why did this have to happen? I can't take this. Don't try to go anywhere. You're the perpetrator of this crime. You can't leave. I can't allow that to happen. I'm sorry, but Kazuma was killed right under my nose here. And? I didn't do anything to stop it. Now? I'm supposed to sit mm -hmm. around? tied while whoever did this walks free no I can't allow that to happen well what do you propose to do then I'm going to investigate I want to find out exactly what happened here I want to work out who took Kevin's life and how and why they did it so I'm sorry but you're gonna to have to excuse me that I'm not guilty of this awful crime. Yes! Tell me, when I was discovered in the wardrobe before, was this piece of paper stuck over the doors? Oh, yeah it was. I remember clearly. Also, Kazuma always put this in place whenever I went to sleep in there. Just in case the cabin steward or another clue member decided to look inside. But naturally, we did the same last night as well. Of course, the gentleman who discovered you peeled the sign up from the wardrobe before you opened them. But if I were truly the culprit, I think I'd climb back into the wardrobe and set this on the outside of the doors on my own. Yeah, that's quite true. In other words, it's impossible that I kill them. Well, you could have had an accomplice. Well, even if you are spilled helpless on the floor. I can see why Kazuma Sama fought so highly of you. Thank you, Mr. Do you think perhaps maybe you can help me up now? Well, 
In the light of that evidence, I don't see any reason why I should stop you from investigating here at least. Thank you. You finally believe me? I'm sorry. No. What? I'm not sure yet. I don't know the possibility that you use some sort of conjuring trick to put that sign back in position. What do you think I am? A magician? Now I suggest you investigate as thoroughly as possible in here. I'll do the same. Let's get to work. Please, don't misunderstand me. I still have my doubts. I shall be watching you. I'm going to show you do nothing that might disturb the film scene. I wouldn't want to use your conjuring tricks to destroy evidence, for example. Well, anyway, I should never start an investigating here. Examine absolutely everything. I swear, I will avenge your death. Ooh. I'm in handcuffs and in the house arrest by the crew. Not to mention Sister Sun's constant glares. I think it's fair to say I'm stuck in this cabin. For the time being, at least. I should focus on investigating in here to see where I can find out. since we set sail. Have you never been living in that wardrobe the entire time? I think living isn't quite the right description. Oh no, I suppose not. Well, it must be rather exciting making this voyage in your own secret hideout. The trouble was I never knew when a member of the crew might come in, so yes, I could basically have to live in the wardrobe. And last night was no exception. You had no idea what was happening here outside the cabin. No, certainly not. Whew. Um, I'm actually going to stop. Um, I can feel myself going. Um, in and out, so. I'm gonna save and we're gonna drop here. Hey, at least. And it's just gone 1am, 1, 1 so that's that's the perfect place to start. <laughs> um let's have a look, let's see who's Unfortunately. 
That's great. That's great. I'm glad, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Especially with the weirdness these games can go out. Why do you stream so late? Um, because I pretty much work the rest of the week. That's why I stream quite late. And in this instance, it's just... I really shouldn't be streaming at this time, but it's only on the weekends and Fridays. That's why I'm all over the place on the weekends. Get as much time in as possible. Because I enjoy doing it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm gonna drop now and get some sleep. <laughs> get some, get, get some actual sleep. I hope everybody else gets a wonderful rest and sleep. Whatever is your time to sleep. So we will end it off there. Thanks for coming. I really appreciate it. Bye.